In this problem, we have a system of equations and we're being asked to solve it. It looks like substitution is the easiest way to go. So that what that basically means is that we take, um, we take one of the equations, in particular this one, and plug it into this one. So let's do that. So you have x plus y equals 2, just writing it one more time. So that's x plus, and now let's make that substitution. So y is actually x squared minus 4, and that's equal to 2, right? Because we're plugging it in here. Now, this is a quadratic equation, so we should try to set it equal to 0 and factor. So subtract 2, subtract 2. So we have x plus x squared minus 6 equals 0. So that looks really weird. <laughs> Let's write the x squared first. So this is x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Let's see if we can factor this. Uh, we should be able to. So you have x, x, parentheses, and 0. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to 1. So 3 and 2 uh, can multiply to negative 6. And then I guess the smaller one needs to be negative, yep. Because that way when we add um, 3 plus negative 2, we get a positive 1. So we get two possible values for x here, negative 3 and 2. These are our possible x values. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the other x values. So I'm going to go back up here to the original. I'm going to write our x values. We had negative 3 and we have 2. So now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take these and plug them into either equation. And then you find the y values. So you're supposed to do each one uh, one at a time. So when x equals negative 3, let's do the first one. It's really important to break it up like this. Let's use this equation here because it's easier. y equals negative 3 squared minus 4. So y equals 9 minus 4. So y equals 5. So when x is negative 3, y is equal to 5. So that gives us an ordered pair, negative 3 comma 5. You see, that's one of the answers. So the answers are ordered pairs. So it's really key to separate it like this. Now we do it again for the other one. So when x equals 2, it's a really ugly 2, so 2, we get y equals, plugging it into the same place, x squared minus 4, so 2 squared minus 4, so y equals 4 minus 4, so y equals 0. So when x is 2, y equals 0. So the other answer would be 2 comma 0. And that's the solution set. Or the solution set would be the set containing uh, these points. That's it.